For example, we take the bottle images and we can classify them into good or bad, and we can add multiple classes to categorize these type of defects. You can have scratch, marker sign, and so on, depending on the classification that you want to do. To prepare our data set is very simple. We only need to take the images and put them in separate folders. In this case, I will show you how I did it for the labels. We have a folder which is called good, which shows the good labels. And here we have the labels without any defect so when i scroll there are labels without any defect on the good label then we have the the labels where there is some defect there is the marker sign and all of them are in one folder labels with the scratches and labels that are completely wrong this is just to give you an idea of how to do that now we use the same notebook i used before now i do classification uh, let's choose the project i have the project now for label classification the images are already there uploaded we load the image you see it found the image for class good uh, marker sign scratch and wrong and then we do the training and we repeat this operation for all the models that we want for all the things of the product that we want to identify uh, in this case a bottle label classification for the new project uh, could be just the bottle classification or cap classification and we put the caps images and so on once we have our models ready we integrate that into our system and go at the beginning of the code we import the module for classification from engine object classification we import object classification and here we do classification now i have the model for two things for the bottle is a bottle good or bad and then for the label we have four different classes of the label we know if the label is good it has a marker sign it has some scratch or if it's a wrong label class label equals object classification models label classification dot pt i have all the models put into the models folder and then also both class bottle class bottle object classification models bottle classification where do we do the classification we do the classification as before where after they cross the yellow line then we check is the bottle good or bad is the label good bad with marker sign and so on let's do that here we get the image inspect the object if class name is label then we have class label classify it's doing everything well already here the copilot it knows already what we're doing so if the class name is the label then we want class label classify what we want to classify the ROI which is the image that we cut and then we have the class ID let's print class name and let's print also object ID print object ID and let's print the class name for that object ID and the same for the bottle 